Two, three. Hi, my name is Kevin. Hey, y'all, and I'm Logan. I'm Callie. Callie. <laughs> Kelly Ann huh? from New Iberia. Hi, my name is Kelly Ann. I'm from New Iberia. It's Logan and Kelly from New Iberia. But we don't live there. And he does not have a New Iberia haircut. I do not. Hell no. Okay. Let's talk about food and drinking. Which that's what we're, we're already doing drinking. So They're actually drinking the as we yeah, speak. The <laughs> yeah. That we got from a local drive-through. Nola Dax hit him up. Which isn't local, but it's a Louisiana franchise, yeah. and we love them. We do. I swear <laughs> the MF, because it is MF and almost- good. <laughs> this is not Callie's original voice, either, just a heads up. She's apparently hoarse from screaming the night before. Maybe so. Maybe so. I don't think she sounds hoarse. I don't sound hoarse. A little bit. Sound- it's, it's lack of sleep. You think? Probably. You know? Do you, um, you have lack of sleep? You're not getting a full eight hour <laughs> sleep <laughs> regimen, <laughs> Callie. I feel like I feel like that we have great sleep. Mm-hmm. I have a very nice. It bed. might not be long, but when I do sleep, I sleep. And okay. if I don't sleep, look, I will take a good little nap. And I ask Callie, look, she'll have to come in and knock on my door or blow up my phone. What, what were y'all smelling on the couch just a second ago? Oh, you we told us Saints players were sitting here. We were trying to see if any butt remnants was still there. I was yeah. lick of it. what? I, gonna, I know I was gonna lick it too, but. Y'all gonna lick Saints' butts? I mean, yeah. if, if the shoe fits. Oh my god. Then lick it. This is this is what we're getting involved in right now. Okay, just a heads up. You never know what you'll hear. So Speaking if you're listening, Saints butts. get ready. Because this is definitely gonna be interesting. Oh lord. I think we should call it interesting. Interesting. We're very interesting. We are. Interesting eats. Interesting eats. <laughs> How cute. With Callie and Logan. That's cute. But our title's way better. He's changing our name already. I know. And we already no, I, it we already only took us cute. forever to come up I with know. what we have. And the we real have name, name. The real name is Tell em. Foodies, Foodies with, with a, a drinking, drinking problem. problem. As we sit here on this couch <laughs> with, with our 44 ounce daiquiris. <laughs> yes. Yes. But it's not a problem. We're Whoa. very responsible. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uber, Uber, everybody! Uh, Uber shout out to Lyft. Uber, saving everybody from DUIs and, and shout, shout out to Uber <laughs> and death and death. And death. <laughs> shout out to Uber and for helping you. us survive. Definitely, 100%. yes. Exactly. Uber exactly. is uh, and Lyft. Li- I think Lyft was in a Uber when they've created Lyft. That's what I'm thinking, and what because they damn sure didn't know how to spell it. <laughs> Help me out here. Okay, look. I've been having problems d- deciphering what this. is the difference with Lyft and Uber, and do we have both? Yes. Yes, we, we do. do. Okay. But I, I can tell you this. what the difference is. It's a little bit cheaper, but every time that, that I've gotten a, a uh, Lyft, they would have the Uber like a logo and on their windshield. So I'm like... Are they're you both. Uber or are you a they're Lyft? both. So the, like they have. It's like they have to choose per day. Like if you want to be Uber one day, you have to be Uber that day. If you want to be Lyft one day, you have to be Lyft that okay. day. I think. So, I asked one one day, and and the, re, the the biggest difference I can tell you are at peak times. Lyft does not insane. charge you out the ass to be like like when it hits two o'clock in the morning and it goes from seven dollars to forty five mm-hmm. in a seven passenger car. Lyft doesn't do that. Gotcha. Oh. I was just That's the difference. Ask, should I delete one now and gain more space on my phone? But it's like no, you need I'm both about of them. Saving money and wasting. You're gonna save a lot more money at, at I'm peak about times. Saving with money and wasting yeah. that. I'm gonna, give, I'm gonna give you an example. I'm, I'm gonna give you an example. Like like I was in New Orleans Monday and Tuesday. I I was looking at Uber and I was using Uber because I knew I was drinking and I had to get certain parts of the city and I didn't want to walk all, all that way and everything and it was raining Tuesday. So, like, literally, you got to do something unless you're walking around with an umbrella. Now, I would look at Uber. It would go from $6 to $10. I look at Lyft. It would go back to 7 At peak times, it would get up to 15 And so, Uber would get up to... Well, it would, it, no, Uber would get to 15 Oh. And Lyft oh, would be at okay, 7 yeah. still. <laughs> that's... A lot cheaper. That's like... But that's not price. peak time. Mm. The, see, Monday, Tuesday, that's, that's... I mean, no one's in the city. 
that on Monday and Tuesday, unless they really need to be, or, or, or they're yeah. really just wanting to be there. You know what I mean? So like, like Friday and Saturday, I bet you that doubles. And New York Uber, oh, let me tell you, I bet you it's super New high. York Uber. Well, ours had wrecked. Didn't even check on us. <laughs> um, had got out and was bucking. Then got back in the vehicle. Had Both of you two? No. Oh. Me and Bonnie Bro, Chef Bonnie Bro. Okay. Uh, we were in New York for work. Um, She's from New Iberia, too. I think. Bro Bridge grew okay. up in New Iberia, yes. Okay. But literally, like, the Uber wrecked, got out, had bucked, and then got back in, and then drove around the block like 10 times. Charge Bonnie's card like eighty five dollars, saying that he couldn't find the spot. Whenever his GPS was like, and right there, saying that, and we've like arrived. Then all of the taxis, all of the Ubers were like at least thirty five to like eighty dollars just to get down the road. So that In the New York, Uber, uh, New, and New York Uber comes with a butt plug. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> And thank God that Bonnie Bro paid for everything. God bless her soul. Because, look, I was like, damn, that is $85 for a ride like a block away. New York. Thank God y'all didn't throw up. Because, look, let me tell you something. That $200 cleaning fee is girl, no joke. When, girl, whenever you had to we pay got that? rear-ended, we were like, what the? Like, me and Bonnie Bro. <laughs> you had to pay the, the, the cleaning fee? I didn't have to pay it. My cousin's friend it was her bachelorette party and oh, wow. she got wasted oh the, oh, the cleaning fee threw oh my up god in the uber next morning was charged over two hundred dollars uber has a two hundred dollar cleaning fee i've heard Just, of them fyi in case you have not thrown up in an uber yet do not don't do it roll don't down do the it. window roll down the window get it all over the outside of the car you can clean they probably the still charge for that house. nope tell me that i'm paying two hundred dollars but throw up on the outside of your car and I, my drunk ass is hosing off and see what happens. One of my good friends better a video like because <laughs> like I swear if this I is, that charge, this is why foodies is this is why we're definitely sticking with foodies with a drinking problem. Because oh, yeah. this conversation <laughs> it goes from like seventy five to one hundred and twenty miles an hour uh, in five seconds. <laughs> there is no zero. Never. Yes, a li- like a little bit of turbo nitrous boost. That's us. Mm-hmm. A little bit. Actually, little bit. that's our liquor. That's what. And that's what does it. Holy shit! Give me the nitrous. Oh wait, um, Kevin. I wish we could give drinking cards away. Right. Wait, what's that? Like drinking cards. What do you mean? Like you get a twenty-five dollar bar tab somewhere. Oh, like uh, drinking yeah. cards. Yeah, like, I was thinking like, uh, you win a twenty-five dollar drinking card. We we would never give them away. Like, <laughs> no, we, we drink them all up. Like, uh, yeah. Definitely drink uh, them all up. Winners. FYI, if y'all here in the future, we're giving away drinking cards. Don't fall for it. We, <laughs> we are always the winners. We are always the winners. So you will never win. So <laughs> back out now. Back out now. But but wait, Kevin, I did want to tell you this. Um, and do you know Bentley Swear? I don't know. Okay. I, and Bentley Swear back in the day owned the uh, Hilling Station downtown. Okay. Um, and it shut down. Blah blah blah. But he, he owned it for a while. The guy the that owned article, it for a while, I knew. I, I, I've okay. met him a couple of times. The article said all that. I don't recall. I okay. Don't recall. It was on Developing Lafayette. I now, think. I think Joey Durrell owns it now, huh? What the filling station? I'm yeah. Positive. Wait, so, so they're open? No, I don't know if they're yeah. open, but I know. I think he purchased it. It, it, what it is was he supposed own? to be in the, the process the actual of turning filling station into thing. a new restaurant. From what I understood, obviously something that was yeah, about a year ago when he bought it and was supposed to. Oh no, that that was the guy that had Hook and Boil. Yeah. Oh yeah, really? Grayland, yeah. yeah. That's where Grayland works, and Grayland yeah. was telling me that, and they bought it. They were going to renovate it and put a sky deck with a sky bar, all that, Mm-mm. and blah, blah, blah. And, like, it just never happened. Well, no, they, like, the, 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 it, 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 like, went in foreclosure. Oh. Recently, that just happened. Like, it went in foreclosure and literally. Like the building itself. Like, yeah, the whole thing. Like, and they, and it recently got put on sale. And Joey DeRoe bought it, from what I'm understanding. Okay. Okay, well, that's a very good to know. Well, we hope y'all open something up soon. We love like, that little video. Well, what well, well, you see next video. door is the it's rock and bowl thing. Yeah, yeah. Is the so, yeah, there's the, the, going to be this rock, rock and bowl thing. thing. Which is so cool. I cannot right. wait for it to open. Yeah. I'm I just hope the neighbors up. in the area don't call the cops for loud music. Right? Yes. Shade has been thrown. 
get out of downtown Lafayette if you don't like all of the sounds or the noise. The noises. That's not your place. Go to Cade or go to... Oh, I'll go anywhere else besides downtown go to Cade. Lafayette. You know like, what? Her luck is going to be... Oh, God. Well, no, I, she can listen. She can listen. Like, oh, look. And don't get me started. So, anyway. Um, Kate. So, so, let me go back to, to, to what I was saying. Go ahead. So, Bentley Swear, right? Right. This article said that uh, Bentley, he, like, owned it. Well, do you remember, like, Hurricane Wings uh, on Ambassador across from, like, uh, Yeah, Chester. they have all kind of drama, too. Yeah, Plus. well, they shut down. Well, Bentley Swear bought it, and what he did was he turned it into, like, a beach kind of restaurant where right. they sell a ton of beach fair and cocktails. Beach with, fair? Like, a beach fair being, like, a grouper. Uh, oh, okay. Like a uh, Baja tacos. Okay. Uh, like turf and turf. Uh, wings. Uh, blah, blah, blah. You know what would be really cool? Mm. If he would have like a surfboard dunking tank in there and like people can go in <laughs> and ride the surfboard. Right, that's And like it would like move and shit and people would like it, people that, it would that fall. That would be fun. <laughs> that, like I would probably do it. I uh, know, right? That would be a lot of fun. But let me tell you this. So the article said blah, 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 and he bought it. They were waiting at the time, which is like, I read the article probably like a month or two ago. Um, they were waiting on their license for alcohol because, and who wants to go to the beach without their cocktail, like, in hand? Oh, I love that. It was so, like, and it was written so well. But anyway, so the front patio area, he didn't like the way that it, like, overlooked, like, an ambassador so right. he wanted to make it a, a little more like private and then put sand on the patio to where whenever you go outside and you sit and you can just put your toes in the sand i thought that was so cool that's pretty cute like i thought that was so cool because like that's so different <laughs> right like, you so know, you're gonna go on the front of the restaurant and put your toes in the sand like I mean, maybe. look okay but go on google right now and look at the like and look at the pictures because it's open now actually we're gonna have to go check it out we'll, yeah. we will review it for you give you a full yeah uh, but i want to let them kind of settle in it let sounds like settle in. mr swear really wants to move to destin but it's somebody don't want to let him that is a <laughs> big so. possibility that is a big possibility well That's you know what if point. i can't go to the beach i'm bringing the beach to me it's yeah. gonna be body of business yeah, he really, really wants to move to Destin, but he's apparently got a wife that's from Acadiana, and she's like, I ain't going my nowhere. My Cajun roots ain't moving. I ain't leaving my mama. But could you imagine <laughs> being a Cajun in Destin, though? Yeah, yeah look, like, actually, if you went there right now, it's it's completely filled with Cajun people. Yeah, oh, oh, my God, yeah. Like, <laughs> right so, now, in the so middle of June. Destin, and in I the middle Destin, of June. but I can never live there. Cause, like, yeah, no, I mean, I... I I, I don't know. I, I mean, you know. I imagine it would be hard to live in a tourist city. Like, like I lived in the, like, you uh, live in one. Houston. <laughs> but we're from here. No, I know. And, um, uh, yeah, this is a very it touristy is, area. It this is. This really it is. Really I think is. the whole state's a tourist oh, yeah, attraction. Definitely. And it's like, you know, growing up here, you don't realize that. Because and you it's don't not appreciate like, it. No, you don't. And it's not a vacation spot. Definitely not, not for us. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But it's like, yeah, as I've gotten older, I've definitely realized people come over here from all over the world. and that, that Because people are curious about right, it. They're, they they're are, like, they so what is Cajun? Like, so what is, interesting. Like, what is it? Like, and do they ride a boat to school? And then they oh, yeah. really think we, like, go and to school in P. Rose and we stuff. Have like, that was, like, we have, we like, have roads, roads, we have roads, we have, like, uh, parkways and boulevards. Like, we're not... Like, I'm not going no, they, they down really, the Ambassador Caffrey River. I mean, River, like, the you know, alligator thing is really the thing that I think gets them. I think and the what, food. Well, yeah. Well, no, like, okay, this is the thing, though. Their perception of us, I feel like, is more northern Louisiana. They don't really know that there's a difference between and us. And there's such a difference. And there's such a huge difference. So they come to southern Louisiana, and it's like they absolutely fall in love because, because they're like, oh, my God. 
I don't know. It was like this. Like, yeah, actually. It's very friendly. We and don't very talk fun. like this. Yeah, we do Surprisingly, not. Surprisingly, I know we have an accent, but it's not like this. The only place down here that kind of talks like this is maybe a little bit of like Charles and Baton Rouge, but even Baton Rouge has like a little bit of a preppy, like country twang. But it's well, yeah, not but like. But also, I mean, they're closer to the north of I 10 as well. Yeah. So it's like. You know, they say north of I-10 is rednecks and south is Cajuns, and, you know, that's where and, you get us. And it's very true. It it's really very is. very true. Y'all northern Louisianians, I'm going to need y'all to incorporate some rice in y'all life. Like, try Agreed. some rice and gravy, a gumbo here and there. I think, uh, to me, there's, like, a big problem right now with rice. There's is a there? lot of put. Yeah, there's, like, a lot of restaurants I see getting rid of rice. <gasps> Oh, no, not oh down here. God. They better fix that. Oh, Barry, they better right fix that. Like uh-uh. I've seen it. Nope, they better fix it. Like, places like pasta? where? Places like where? I, I don't want to out nobody, but I'm telling you, if you watch menus... Are I, they switching I, to, like, no. instant rice? No, they're just they not doing rice at all. No rice at all. None. So, rice and gravy with only gravy? No, I don't even see that. So, jambalaya with only the laya? No, just uh, a couple of snake, couple of steak places <laughs> have completely shut down rice on their menu absolutely indefinitely. Like they don't even sell it. Jasmine rice isn't that bad for you. Hmm. I've got to I know. <laughs> Wait, hold up. There's options. There's options. What are y'all doing to us? Wait, I've got to know where. Where spill the uh, I, I can't say we it. Can't, we can't. Oh. Li- after we, drop at the moment. So, so after we, like, clock out, can we, like, maybe talk about it over, like, a good vodka cocktail? Yes. Okay, good. That works. The that way you, that way you can go see. Because, like, there's a couple cocktail. of things I used to eat that had rice in them. And I was like, why would you shut down the rice, dude? Like, for real. Like, you know, it kind of angered me a little bit. I was like, that's not cool. The people in Crowley. You know what? I'm about to on? start eating more Asian food because I don't care what you say. They can't Asians stop it. They giving up the rice. Yeah, they can't All stop it. All right, shout right. out to y'all. I'm they can't stop it. Some gravy on my sushi, some gravy on my fried rice. <laughs> Look, as you best believe, Shy. To me, rice, like, you know, it, it, I mean, it's, it has its place. Like, rice Definitely. is our culture. You know? Like, it's I mean, such a part of our culture. Yeah. Everything we cook has, like, all major Cajun dishes have, have rice. rice. Red beans and rice, gumbo, right? All the rice and gravies, like. Well, th- to me, they they should say thank you for Louisiana to that too, because there's a lot. I'm telling you, the, the, even the keto diet tries to tell you no rice. Well, yeah. So like you know, like like that's the thing. Like they think anything that's if it's a potato, or if anything white, All potato, the whatever. Of keto diet though. Mm-hmm. Um, a good friend of mine slash coworker. Her name is Amber. She's on the keto diet. She's excellent. She's excellent. We don't have to name drop them all. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Well, well she's awesome. She's awesome. And she's on this keto so diet. So tell me about what she happened. she is so adamant. Like, she knows good places for good keto food that mm-hmm. does not taste like keto food. So we need to like throw her like in here one day. But anyway, I'm sorry. I Maybe she can tell. I'm just no. I think that's I'm a big deal. I, I'm just saying. I I, th- I think that's a big deal. I'll always wear these. Cows, like they? if you had literally always. three pla- three three things, or even recipes for keto eater people, they'd be in. Good. To me, to me, if you want the keto eggs. diet, just don't a eat anything people, carbs. But a lot of people <laughs> and mafia do the diet thing. They do they the keto do. thing. They no, it's a big deal diet. right now. And she knows a lot about it. She's even got this app, and she's so adamant. She's even got this app. She's like, okay, so can I like have this sauce? And I'm like, what? I'm like, you're checking your app for this sauce. What's wrong, Kelly? Are you okay? I'm about to pee on myself. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, go use the bathroom. Oh yeah. Okay, uh, don't worry. There will be no lying like on that. this show, by the no, way. None. L- no, None. Iberians yeah, do not we're lie. very real, so look. Now Callie's about to crawl out of the studio. She got it together, though, now. It's okay. And that ass, though. That ass. <laughs> okay, so Kevin. Let- okay, so I feel like that we need to talk about where we're going out for dinner tonight. I have no idea. And you want pizza? I, I don't know why. I haven't had pizza in quite a minute. They don't make keto diet pizza. Well, we'll talk about that later. I'm not on the keto diet. No, Are but, you still on the keto diet? No, I'm 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 trying not to be. Why? <laughs> I'm being more mindful. Okay. I eat hamburgers every day. I know, and you can't go without them. No, what I'm saying is for okay, I turned 40 uh, about a week and a half ago. 
So and happy I birthday. said that when I turned 40, I would stop eating hamburgers every day. Okay. And I did. Okay? I finally did. I finally stopped doing it. Now, once every three weeks, I'm going to eat a hamburger with a bun. Okay. But I've been eating a lot of burgers just to meat. And I, I've, I've cut out a lot of the bread. Does. Now, like, um, basically, you know, like, like it, I, it's like I'm really not losing any weight, though. So I, I feel like I should just go back to eating hamburgers with a bun. Because <laughs> I mean, I'm not gaining any weight and I'm not I, losing any weight. So I it's like, what? If you, okay, if you don't eat a burger daily, the bun won't kill you. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not going to affect you really. Uh, if you want to have, like, I a little I feel like I was egg, a lot less weight eating the bun. I feel like it makes sense because just don't eat it every day. Oh, I ate it every day. <sighs> every day since I was 10. So, like, you figure, like, 10, 20, 30, 40. Like, that was 30 years. Burger every day. A burger with the bun every day. Oh, yeah. Sometimes up to five burgers a day. <gasps> Oh my god, that's crazy! It's it's really it was really quite awesome. Yeah, I mean, I'm just not a burger person. However, on a whim and on a whim, if it's a good burger, I could play around with it. Like, well, you know, and Callie kind of got me on that too, though. Like, and we would go to Legends like after work and have drinks, and we would like, and Callie would, would be like, hey, "Do you want to split?" Well, that's why, that's why like, you, you can't, you, Legends Burger, I would never eat every day. So, that's the, that's the difference. Well, it's a drunk burger. Oh, no, I could bring it's you to some places, like, you oh, eat a hamburger. Back, y'all. And you, I'm back. you eat a hamburger, you, at some of these places I've been, you're going to eat one, you're going to be like, oh, thinking about it. the place I just started working at, mm-hmm. I'm going to need you to come taste our burgers, because they're good. We're, okay. Burger that's how it happens, people. There's another burger in town. <laughs> there you go. I can't, I can't tell you all about it yet. He's about to pass out. There's another burger. Check it out. No, I feel, I, I, like it's like, it's like, I don't like jalapenos, to be honest what? with you. That's oh a, God, to me, that's, you? you're not well, Cajun. Like women so love jalapenos. I don't. Jalapenos and onions that they it's mix like, it's, into this the is what, I, this is Ooh, what. Ooh, that sounds really it's good. It's like, it's very good. There's a new burger in town. There it is. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> oh my god! But now tonight, Kevin wants. See Kevin the Burger pizza. Boy. I know. I look at that thing every time that I come in here, and it's right. like it kind of freaks me out a little. It reminds me of Goosebumps. Whenever Goosebumps would like and release <laughs> like the the VHS, like the one with the dummy, it reminds me of that one just a tad bit. We're talking about the Big Boy Burger. I know, but it statue. reminds me of the Goosebumps dummy, like the book. Like the book series uh, Goosebumps by like R.L. Stein, mm-hmm. and and how they would like turn a few of them yeah. into like small little like episodes. The the and what was like the dummy? It kind of reminds me of that. Well, in the next two weeks, I have to come up with five burger recipes for somebody that's going to be doing a burger month next month. Mm-hmm. And are we covering that? <laughs> I mean, we can, but but Let's I mean, I, I got to come up with the recipes yeah. first. Let's cover it all. Well, I'm going to come up with the recipes, and one of them is definitely going to be an Italian burger. Let's conquer and all of Acadiana, and we could do it. Oh, I mean, we, but I'm telling you, like, like one of them is definitely going to be, like, what, what, what I envision is, like, imagine, like, okay, like, you stuff the burger with marinara. Ooh, that sounds good. And when you take a bite... It's like instead of you know like everything that I think about is like you you don't need so many condiments like you actually have it in the meat so it's like everything that I've ever done with meat like that it, it you can you can already taste the flavor before you even put anything on it. Hmm. Okay, so you're saying like stuff the burger with mm-hmm. marinara or well, stuff the burger. Well, you could do it one of two ways. Mustard. You have to get real inventive though. You got to get real inventive. You can in. You can make the patty. You have to make it with some pretty strong stuff. But, like, we, you don't want to put breadcrumbs in the patty either. Like, people yeah, no. don't realize. That a lot of people do that. So, like, you, I would take no, either a light. There's Basically, you you, you, you got to figure out a way to do it. No, 
I never cook with breadcrumbs. I've never like even bought them. The only time they're good is when you need to make a pasta sauce thicker. Mm. That's about the only time they're good. Oh. Why did I think about that for that Alfredo? Damn. But if you look, if you've got them really crushed up, That's smart. I never l- let that. me let me tell you a better way to do it instead of buying some bullshit processed breadcrumbs. You take croutons that are fresh. And you get, you remember that mallet that came with your your knife set that nobody knows what the hell it is? Uh-huh. You you use your mallet and you actually hit the, the bottom part and you, you crunch them up as much as you can and then you use the mallet on them. Then you, you basically take them and then you, you kind of roll them up and then you, you slow, as you're stirring, you get somebody to stir and then you put the breadcrumbs from that in it and it thickens it up. And then as you put like things like oregano and basil, it makes it even thicker. Ooh, that sounds really good. <laughs> you can really even good. use, like, the, the Italian croutons and stuff, you know? Yeah, that sounds really ones. good. That sounds awesome. We gotta try that next time. That's really good. Like, I never would have thought of that. Me either. Who taught you that? Tell me your secrets. I mean, people don't realize I actually know how to cook. So when I go eat these things, like, you can tell me you, you have a special sauce. I can tell you what you put in it. That's For years, I used to go do that. I would go sit in places and eat. And I was like, okay, I don't understand how y'all the process of where you actually took it from this point to, to the second point and they look at me like how do you know and i go because i've i've done it and and and, and they look at me like i'm crazy like like the 43 mixture on a burger like whenever i go actually eat it i know the actual secret so like whenever i look at them I go, they go so what do you think and i go well you don't want me to say that in front of people because there's a secret involved and they just look at me and go, are you kidding me? And I go, what, did grandma, used to, grandma told you the secret or something? I'm like, no. I know what your secret is. I could tell just by the way I taste it. He's a burgerologist. So it's very interesting, <laughs> but, like, it sounds crazy. But I'm serious. Like, like, I believe you. You know, and what's funny <laughs> is the hamburgers anything, every day. Dr. Burger. I didn't Dr. gain. Burger. I, dude, that's not bad. Dr. Dr. Burger. That's yes. your name. So like Logan, it. Callie, and Dr. Burger, yeah, and we're the foodies on. with a drinking problem. And we're in the mix with Dr. Burger, y'all. Hey, break it down now. Oh, oh. M- my name is Dr. Burger. <laughs> Twerk that burger ass. <laughs> Dude, you want to hear a funny ass story? I'm sure you got one. Then we're going to get to what we're actually talking about. My, <laughs> Me and my dad got in the biggest fight. The only th- My dad doesn't ever tell me. He's never really had to, but he gets so pissed at me one night. He said, what are, you, what are you doing now? I said, you don't want to know. And he goes, well, no, seriously, what's going on? I said, well, I'm thinking about changing my middle name. And I see his face just like kind of turn. Like, I, uh, he's like, are you joking? I said, no, I'm not joking at all. He goes, well, that would really piss me off. I said, for what? I said, my middle name don't have shit to do with you. <laughs> he goes... That would really anger me a little bit. So I'm thinking to myself, I said, you got to be joking. And he goes, well, let me ask you this. What are you thinking about changing your middle name to? I said, burger, duh. <laughs> so he goes, oh he goes, Kevin oh, no, no, that's not, even, that's not even going to, that's not even going to happen. Don't even, don't, don't even, if you do that, you better not do that while I'm still alive. It's not going to happen. Oh, my God, I'm Kevin like, Burger and St. Marie. I said, but if you I, I said, said, Dad, I said, I'm not going to tell people burgers are my middle name. Burgers are my middle name. Literally, literally. Y'all talk. I'm going to be right back. Okay. okay. So, Kelly, so let's talk about. My boots that you've never seen me wear before? And I feel like I possibly have, but you know I drink a lot. Kelly, I wear these quite often, mm. at least maybe twice per week. I know, I feel like I might have actually made a comment about them one time. And guess and what? They were only $35. And I'm proud of you for that because you know I'm a bargain shop. Like, they were only $35 and they're all genuine fucking leather like cowboy boots. Yeah, no, they're like legit, y'all. I know none of y'all are here right now to You're, actually witness Y'all can't this, see, but, but they're the like pointed the toe, like all leather toe black. black all, and I'm all for black on black on black. Over like half me some of black my clothes shit and high. shoes, every stuff. Black looks good no matter what. And y'all, these are well worth like probably at least like $200. I bought them for $35. And guess where? Off of I let go. 
which I did have to go meet a sketchy person at a gas station, I but do. it was worth it. I was like, oh, thank you so much. It's Bye. Just, I'm just noticing them because the thing is, is like, I literally have a pair of boots and they're like the shorter version of that. It's not the ones that come up as high as yours. They're like the ankle boot. Yeah, like and this. I used to and not we be need into the to boot. Collab. Yeah, definitely. I'm not like with either. our fur. Like yes. with our fur. Like we, we can, do have fur. The, Occasionally wait. we feel bougie, y'all. Um, we are bo- a- girl. We are so bougie. <laughs> Don't even lie to them. Don't even lie to our listeners. Look, y'all. I'm sorry. sorry, but we. But look, and, and we are very bougie. But guess what? We're also so like um, humble and, and humble. down to yeah, earth. Yeah, definitely. Like, but look, Sha, we love that fur. And we it's do. not real fur. It's artificial it fur. It is faux fur. Just just for all my PETA followers. Um, yeah, I'm not about killing you, no damn I'm dog. Not or not about no, killing, uh, no. No damn chinchilla fur, no, a fur no, scarf this look. this is all faux. Fo fo fo. Fo fo fo. Ho ho ho. ho. ho, ho. Hey. hey. Okay, so anyway. <laughs> Why are we so stupid? We're supposed to be talking about food and we are literally. I know, but we're talking about fashion right and like, guess what? Fashion and is also what? this you thing. Need, yes, because you need to, fashion, you need to be able to dress to, to go out and eat. Yeah, you know? exactly. And like, you see me, I would wear these boots with the fur. Right. Like that fur poncho boots that I've got. With the fur. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> with the fur poncho, like these would go well together. They would. They really would. And I've just kind of gotten into the boot thing. Like yeah. the cowboy boot thing. Mm-hmm. I've just kind of recently Not like, everybody gotten, can pull it off. You're doing great. Yeah, sweet. like now I love it because I feel like they're actually classy. Yeah, like they don't they are. look like, classy? Like they have class. They're black on black boots. Now, to me, the square toe is a little Too bit much. contrary. Yeah, That's a little, little bit country. contrary. But the pointed toe just adds, like, a little bit of class. Like, I'm almost like I'm in a stiletto. Right. Well, no, I'm not uh, dancing, like, hands on a pole. Almost like I'm in a nice uh, Louis, uh, or a nice uh, Jimmy Choo, like, Ooh, heel. Oh, yes, yes. But yes. it's a cowboy boot, girl. It is a cowboy boot. You but I'm believe. loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I have Thanks, some. Thanks, girl. We go, we go we'll collab twins. with the we fur. We twinsy one day. We yes, go twinsy we one normally day. do. Anytime that we go to, like, a beautiful, fine dining restaurant, like, we'll kind of, like, and match it up a little. Yeah, every once in a while. Now, we're both single, okay? So, every once in a while, you gotta treat yourself, Okay. And but guess what? We treat ourselves you, daily. We do. I had a bad day in November once, and I've been treating myself <laughs> ever since. Look. In November, I'm so dead. <laughs> I don't Ooh, know how Lord. to stop. I know, I know. Look, so, but a good you know, dinner though can make you feel you so much better. Sometimes you need to take yourself out with one of your good friends and just have an extravagant, nice dinner. Get all dressed up for no reason. Exactly. Who cares? And it, Look, and the cocktail will just kind of like it'll make you feel so, and, and so much better. Like it'll literally kind of like numb you, right? And kinda, and the food's gonna taste ten times better. Oh you know, yeah! Look, after a couple cocktails, anything tastes good. But yep. you are actually engorging in extravagant meals, so you will absolutely love this. Do it at least. You need everybody needs to take themselves out. At least once a month. And even I, if you I go by yourself. Once. Like, you see me, and people are, they're like, and, and I've met a ton of people that are like, I cannot go out and by myself and have lunch or dinner. And I'm like, why not? I because, don't understand that either. Because, like, and you see me, I do that quite often. Very I'll often. even go Let's to a bar, bar by myself yes. and, and have a drink, like, yes. and by myself. And guess what that means? If you I'm do that. I'm free drinks because, look, I'm by myself and everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, uh-uh. but that means that like, and literally like, and you're comfortable and with yourself right. as a person, and that and that's a good quality to have. It's like. a great quality, and like, I enjoy like I enjoy doing that. Like, I'll go in, I'll sit by myself, even at like a big booth, and I'll like in order lunch and drinks, and I'll sit there either with like a magazine, like a double O eight, or like a lifestyle, or like a GQ, or I'll just kind of scroll through through like my phone. And, like, I enjoy myself, right? right? And I'm sure people are like, time, why is he by himself? I feel sorry for him. No. no don't feel sorry don't for him. Feel sorry I for wanted me. to come here alone. No, like, that's the thing. I, I think it's better said, to go right? eat by yourself. If I wanted very, to be with somebody, I would and text somebody, exactly. hey, come meet me, and they oh, we would. We have friends around every nook and cranny yeah. corner all I've over. I've had friends, okay? like, and in my butthole. Like, I could just pull <laughs> one out. Like, every hey, have lunch out. with me. Yeah, like, you but know. no, like, I will even, I will go to a fine dining restaurant. I've had people hit me with that. Myself. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, and I will be perfectly content. Oh, like, absolutely. With the lifestyles we live and as fast-paced as it is. And, you know, we are in the public eye a lot. We're servers. 
it's and we're such fast paced people. Yeah, and sometimes it's that that meal alone is sometimes only a long time you get and that it's entire good month. Therapy, you like know? you see, for me, like my good kind of therapy is like say that I'll leave and and home in Saint uh, Martinville, and I'm coming here to meet y'all. Like sometimes that drive by no myself. Music. Girl, I blare my music oh, always. A lot but of that's times great. I need to drive with no music. But that's great therapy. It is. Just that it and is. lonely drive. And then a lonely lunch. Like, that's like good kind of me time. Uh, are y'all buzzing? Uh, uh, how much have I... Uh, oh my god, how much have you drank, Kelly? Let's compare. <gasps> Girl, I need up. to catch up. Like, I barely drank that much and I feel like I'm kind of buzzing. I know, like, I kind of... Hey, what up, Lafayette? Hey, we love y'all, Lafayette. This is hilarious. And even if we're so bush I mean, might be both. Just a little. I'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be all right. We got it. We got this. It's so interesting yeah, to have a show where people drink. <laughs> uh, that's all I have to say. Like, that's like, what I just uh, felt like it was necessary to incorporate because it's like you said, this is Louisiana. We all drink. We ain't got shit else to do. But drink. Exactly. And it's funny because, like, as it goes on, it gets louder and uh, louder. I I know, and I feel like it's like it's, it's both. I think I think it's I think it's both of us. We're loud. I think loud. I I, I, I think, think just turn the volume the down volume on your radio things. or your smartphone and Whatever remain calm. The citizens of Acadiana don't tune out. I think we should call it the taste of Nigeria. Hey, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> As a matter of fact, hey, grab your keys. Okay, no, I'm just, I'm just joking. Bye. Not that we're not proud of. Oh, I love it. Proud of our baby city, but oh, um, yo, hey, you get you ready. People need to get. We're gonna get in an Uber car and make the Uber follow us, and we're gonna go try all these places in New Iberia. <laughs> Like what? All five? Yeah, I'm like, hold on. It don't matter. There's Chinese restaurants and Mexican restaurants. That's about it. Mm -mm, They got pelicans too now. Oh, Jesus Christ. Come on now. I've heard. Pelicans was always a home place for me, though. I know. Back in the day, it definitely was. But I've heard bad things. And I. Oh, no. We're going to find out. We're going to find out if it's real. I need to know if they brought back the pelican wings or not. I know. And I need to know. I bet you they did. I need to know. I need to know if they got the bad. You know what would be fun? You know what would be like a lot of fun? Mm-hmm. You find the place online in, in your city with the worst reviews mm-hmm. and you go and find out if it's real. Ooh. I like that idea. Oh, I think it's like I that. think that would be great. And we can cut it. And water. Like, like and, uh, mm, I'm not going to say no names, but Logan went somewhere recently last mm-hmm. night. Uh, and I have never heard anybody say anything good about it except for the drinks. Which everybody are in Lafayette area and do the math. Do, do the, the math. math. You don't you go know there exactly to eat the what food. I'm talking about. You go there for the drinks. Do that. I guarantee you. I think I know about where you went. <laughs> Twenty people off top know where he went last. I think night. I know exactly where you went. So. Um, Actually, there's like four places like that. No, <laughs> right, right. But the <laughs> main one, this, do the math. I feel like this is the main one because I've literally never heard anything else about that place mm-hmm. except you don't go there for the food. You go there for the. Like, I, I, I know exactly so what you're talking I about. I tried two things and I could barely like swallow it. Like I could barely and I swallow it. About it was that so earlier nasty. Earlier too, I was like, we should we should hit up all these places that they say suck and just really find out how sucky are they. <laughs> it, and the service, oh, 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 Terrible. Look, oh my Terrible. god, I will begin a brand new fucking show because I mean, a brand new uh, <laughs> dang show. But this yeah. is what we do exactly. in the afternoon. Do I get my bathroom you? break now? Do I get my bathroom yeah, break? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, mm-hmm. perfect. And I'll be back, my babies. And he's out. Oh, my out. ear balls. <laughs> I my didn't ears. know there was ear balls. It's an earlobe. I feel like I need to like, crack them. Okay. Oh, go out the door to the left. Right. To the left. 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 Okay. And then there were two. <laughs> well, okay. Well, basically, okay. What do you think is the most drink, drunk drink? Most drunk drink. In Acadiana so far. That, that, like, what do people ask you for all the time? Honestly. 
safely answer that because with Lafayette, it's like I said, we have so many diverse people here. There's so many people from all over. Um, there really is not one specific thing. And I've worked several places. I've worked several places from here to New Iberia, all over, in between. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't say there's like one particular thing mo- like people order frequently. Um Especially in Lafayette, everybody's kind of on a fad. I've noticed that within the last like year or so, Moscow mules have been real, oh, yeah. um, real popular in the little hipster crowd. Right. And everybody wants a Moscow mule. Like It's horrible. It's, it is. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't personally care for it. Um, let me tell you my version of a Moscow mule. I like crown and ginger beer. You mix that and that is great. It is, it is mm-hmm. delicious. It's it's a good little buzz. More people need to try that. Um, however, the Moscow mules that... Do that people, okay, when they order the Moscow mule, do they usually have a beard and, and a, a bun? Usually, nine times out of ten, it's not in a bun, though. They, they're they letting their hair down because they're ready for a Moscow mule. They're <laughs> letting <laughs> their hair down? They're letting their hair down. It is okay, not in a bun. so it's like it's like that. Like, oh my God, it's been a crazy hipster day. You know, I'm gonna like, give me a mule. I need a mule. <laughs> give me a mule. And I'm not being. That's just funny and, to and, me. And, but it, it's the truth. You go to nine out of ten of these new little places that incorporate all these little mm-hmm. hipster uh, things. Things, I guess you could say. They all serve. Freaking Moscow mules. I'm, I'm surprised like, they don't have a beer yet called Hipster. They need one. And and you know what, Louisiana, why don't you come out with one? The Hipster. Oh, dude, I'm 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 telling you. And look, it would probably be the the one that they don't drink. No, uh, just because it's labeled as them. Mm-hmm. Go drink a bottle of yourself. <laughs> Oh my god, what did I miss? This is so funny. We we just invented a beer called the Hipster. The Hipster. Ooh, yeah. okay. Mm-hmm. So what is the flavor? Because he, is it well, a pale ale? No, well, this, this is the thing. <laughs> is it, right? Is it a pale ale? <laughs> I'm done. It's probably like an amber. <laughs> like a it's star- a pale ale. <laughs> it's probably like an amber. I feel like it's an it amber. It comes with a string of cheese. He's like, <laughs> what would you say is the most drunk drink? <laughs> the drunk most- drink. The drunk drink. The most commonly asked for drink out here. And I was like, honestly, in Acadia, and I can't say that there's, like, one thing that people really order frequently. Like, there's such a mixture of people. That's and I was very like, true. But I will say we have a huge hipster base. Our hipster crowd is growing outrageously. And what do all hipsters love? Beer. Moscow mules. Ginger beer, to Ooh, be exact. okay. You know? Okay. And I would say... I'll say that. That is yeah. a new fad. I'm not saying that's the most you know what's popular funny? drink around And I here. love a good... Look, I love a good one. And you see, I don't. I don't care for a Moscow Mule. Can but I you say? like vodka. And I was telling him, I like a crown and ginger beer. That together is delicious. Deli- yeah, that it sounds really very is. good. It I've is. never had that, but that oh, sounds like Boyfriender turned me on to that. That's Oh, well, boyfriend can turn me on. Look, and he can turn me on anyway. We have a bartender. That, um, I call him Dr. Bartender. She calls him Boyfriender. Because anytime I'm ju- I'm harassed at the bar, I just just tell him that's my boyfriend. Oh. My boyfriend's behind the bar. Leave me alone. So he's now the Boyfriender. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, but can I say that I feel that maybe a Bloody Mary is pretty common. Oh, Bloody Marys are very common. I feel like Especially in the morning. I feel like that's super common Definitely. That Yeah, I would say Bloody Marys... Like, think about that very hard. Mm -hmm. I feel that a Bloody Mary, which I'm not going to drink that, like, all night, but I'll drink one in the morning and then switch over to a mimosa or, like, you know, or something like that. But I feel Mm -hmm. like that's super common. Mm -hmm. I feel that every bar gets a Bloody Mary ordered, like, at least... Once or twice a day. A day. Like, at least. A day. Or night. You see, it's funny because people think it's crazy that I would eat a hamburger every day, but people drink every day. Do not throw shade. I'm not. I'm just saying it's interesting when you think about that. that. We did just cheers. <laughs> I guess we're not cheersing with Kevin Burger. Oh, I'm not. Burger. I don't. I, hello, ladies. My name is Doctor Burger. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes, That's I am. Right. I don't judge you for your burger addiction. No, dude, I don't. Yeah. Hey, I could come in with a white coat with a patty on it, like a little burger iron on on the lab coat with my hat, and come in with a little Manila folder. <laughs> yes, I do have and a folder. We need to remember. Hello, my name is Doctor Burger. All doctors' offices, I'm sure, have like iPads. So right. you have a yeah, burger yeah, on your shirt, shirt a burger on with your an, shirt, iPad. an iPad. Oh is no! Not I, I, folder, like, what is they it? have to put the like, folder right. eventually. <laughs> it has to go in a folder don't eventually. Even file stuff anymore. It's all online. It's all by software. All in your documents. Um, it's going to be like the male version of the nanny, but eats burgers. I love the nanny. What? Hello, my name is Doctor Burger. Dr. I'm here Burger. to eat your patty. <laughs> okay, okay, I can see that. Yeah. Uh, ready, ready, ready. Actually, my 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 phrase is it's patty time. Okay. I bet you that's a real hoopla for Patty in the Park. It's Patty time. Oh no! Don't even don't even give <laughs> him any ideas. <laughs> don't don't even give him any oh ideas. Hey, look, they look, already stole it. They look, already stole it. They, they, got, they, got, they got billboards yeah. being printed as we speak. They got, they, oh man! Or typed whichever billboard that you choose. <laughs> digital static. Actually, we were the first online. food blog in Acadiana. Who, us? AcadianaHamburger.com. Like us? No, Not us. Oh, I was like, oh, thank you so much. Well, I was no. On <laughs> no, it's true. Like, it's true. AcadianaHamburger.com was in 2001. There were no food blogs. No. <laughs> we had, you know, like we... Like back then, like, uh, what's a blog? Yeah, I hated that. I still hate that word, to be honest with you. Me too. That's not my favorite word. It yeah, took me, it took me 10 years to deal with the word. I don't like the word egg. I don't like eggs. Me neither. I, love eggs. Not, <laughs> I can cook I an love egg fifteen eggs. times t- kinds of ways, but I still I'm not with it. Day. It's some fully loaded fries, and they put a freaking fried egg. On. Ooh, that sounds good. Oh. Like I like like okay like I'll say this I like eggs with like something else and yeah. the combination. Of, Ooh, like a good burger with a fried egg on top. Yeah, that's good. But like that sounds so like I'm not the hipster. <laughs> It's a hangover burger. Definitely. You can have a hipster section in, in a restaurant. <laughs> you literally could. Yeah, no, definitely. 100% agree. Have your 100%. egg burger with um, your oh, uh, Moscow, Moscow your mule. Moscow mule and your... Uh, or your dark amber beer. Yeah, and you know what's really amber funny? Beer. You know what's really funny? There are no gingers that are hipsters. I beg to differ. I do beg to differ. I know quite a few ginger hipsters. I know a few. Really? I've been one I, a ginger lately. He wants a good ginger. Because hey. I've never found one. Like, I've never, like, had one. I know this isn't a like, dating radio show, but any gingers out ginger? there, if you want a nice piece of new Iberia butt. Oh, God. Oh, oh, saying, that just, just ruined it. That just ruined it. Holler at oh, Logan. Just, I know, it's totally Let's just say Lorville. I just want to say. Lorville, but I did go to a private school. I just want to say that I'm funny. I'm drinking Sunkiss. <laughs> But, like, I did go to a private school. It was voted the best private Give school them all your in the Barry. Go ahead. Go ahead, Barry. baby. Tell them. And I work Tell for them. a great business. I live and in the Ville. I live in St. Martinville. And, look, I have a great life. I live a great life. I have a ton of awesome friends. He does. I do. Like, I, I, like, I've got, like, I'm, like, I'm blessed and with the best. Like, he what is. can I say? 100%. But a fine ginger, look, and present yourself. Show me. Show, Show me. me. Let's see. Okay, so. And don't fail me. Just saying. We have yet. Don't cry yet. for me, to Argentina. Talk about anything that we actually need to talk about. Yeah, this is what happens every time we get together, yes. and I'm sorry. And I know y'all probably all are like, what is the point of this? They're just getting We're to gonna know get us. There. They're just getting to yeah. know us. This is and just a start. This, this is just a start. Because yeah. we really don't want to talk about Eat, eat, eat Laugh yet. Uh, whatever we're just talking about ourselves yeah, and it's much more interesting it really is. but we it's are supposed to be going next tuesday to what is a it called taste of eat lafayette acadia taste of eat lafayette at the cajun dome yes which everyone knows my good friend chef uh bonnie bro yes shout out bonnie shout out bonnie we love you girl we love you and 
Bonnie was the chef at St. John's. Then they opened up Cafe Sydney May. And I was there today. Uh, yesterday. Oh you went to Sydney May? Well, I was in front. I have some antiques next door. Oh, yeah. Okay. That, Let remember me we said we wanted to go what there. what I said? Because I just said that Cafe Sydney May was in... New Iberia, no. no. Cafe City May is in Bro Bridge. <laughs> that's downtown. the alcohol talking story. Yeah. yeah, that's uh, downtown uh, Bro Bridge. And for those of you who do not know, I do work for, for the St. John restaurant, a divine restaurant. But Chef Bonnie Bro will be giving up her title on Tuesday at a taste of Lafay- uh, of Andy Lafayette. Yes, and I'm very excited to see who is going to now hold that crown. I know, and to. Bonnie was also the first female to ever win in a 10-year span, which they've yes. only been doing for 10 years. Girls, so. rise up! Oh, yes, yeah, and Bonnie's a great chef. She so. is phenomenal, phenomenal. But, Kevin, like, did you eat there? Not yet. Not, Not yet. You have got to Oh, it's it excellent. It's really good. Like, it's so Definitely. good. Oh, it's so good. We won't, we won't tell you about our entire experience, but... It's worth it, I promise. Yeah, we're not gonna tell you everything because and you just gotta go. You, like, have you gotta to wait. try it. You gotta try it and you gotta wait. Yeah, but like the food's excellent. But I will say this, and we can both agree. Okay, as an appetizer, get the crawfish spinach dip. Oh my god! Save and then if some. you get a steak, save some to and put, put on top on of your steak. Top. Oh my god! It is so life changing. It's also somewhat. It's life changing. Of a it felony. Is. It's a felony. That's I'm what pretty it is. sure it's illegal in at least six different states. Yeah, at least at definitely least. Ar- definitely like around here because yeah, uh, yeah. definitely no. It's definitely, definitely hush hush. We don't tell people. About yeah, it. Bonnie Bro does not tell a soul. Mm-hmm. But look, I'll let y'all know. And we'll, we'll let, let y'all, y'all know because like it's really good. Mm-hmm. We're, that's then, what we're here for to let out all the secrets. And did we get dessert? We didn't get dessert. We did not get dessert. But we no, also ate we enough can't. for five people. Really? We Each. had two appetizers. Oh, yeah. We, we ate half of my child's meal. <laughs> because poor thing could not could not finish it. But like we were like, oh, don't you like, worry, we will Kev. help you. Don't you worry. We got it. And then the problem was, was we ordered, <laughs> he wanted sweet potato fries. Well, they brought him out regular fries. Well, no, no, no. He wanted his sweet potato fries. So we and got regular like, oh, fries. Oh, don't worry. Keep those. And sweet potato fries. On top of his meal, on top of our two appetizers, on top, on of, top our two of our two entrees, two entrees with three steak toppers. Yes. We had crawfish like and etouffee. We had a uh, jumble of crab meat plus the crawfish dip plus I got a tough potato cake which was absolutely grits. so good and very different. And then she got the Creole cream cheese uh, grits. grits. That was great. And then the cocktails, Ooh, girl. Girl. All right, so end of this, check out Sydney May. And St. John Restaurant. St. John John. Restaurant and Sydney May. coincided with each other. Yeah, they are sister restaurants, partner restaurants. Go for it. Go for it. However, I will say this as a clarifier. You cannot get a crab cake at Sydney May. You can get the crab cake at St. John's. However, at Sydney May, and you can get the Tesh uh, Wellington, Mm -hmm. which is their version. Right. The what exactly is a Wellington? Uh, encrusted with like a pastry. Mm-hmm. So okay. So say that you get a beef a Wellington. It's going to be either like a good, say, steak or filet wrapped mm-hmm. in a pastry. Uh, I've seen a lot of places put it with like, say, spinach, like a Wellington Oscar. Yeah. Uh, uh, I've seen a lot of like places a, put it with so seafood. <laughs> or It's like a, um, <laughs> it's, like a oh, well. it's like a cow wrapped in. No. <laughs> no. 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 Kevin, I don't know why I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> it's like it's it's like it's you know it's like a steak wrapped in pastry. Like pastry is usually made out of dough. Yeah. Oh. Like steak is a cow. A yeah. Okay. Kevin. Cow wrapped in <laughs> dough. Okay. Yeah. So a cow wrapped in dough. Yes. <laughs> yes, Kevin. I will give you that one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot do. <laughs> so next time I hear the word Wellington, I'm gonna think. Like cow just hanging out in the dough. Now Wellington can be kind of weird for me though. Like I've had well, I only hear it in certain there. restaurants, you know, like these really expensive restaurants. Like, like I've had bad Wellington. Like I've had bad Wellington. It's where the yeah. the the dough is like soggy. <laughs> what you doing? Oh, go ahead. This is a problem when you're drinking. That is the most <sighs> aggravating problem. It's like. 
Okay, and just so you all know, Logan has literally maybe ingested a fourth of his daiquiri, and I'm more than halfway through. So I apologize for my bad. But let me say this though: I did have two. Hey, as long as there. Hey, as long as we don't have to 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 hit that two hundred dollar deposit on an Uber, we're good. Hey, Callie, I have two up on you. I I like had two vodka. Sodas at your work? Is that what I drank? It was a vodka and Sprite. Oh, yeah, a vodka seven. Thank you. That's funny. And you keep me young. And you tried the local vodka. Not the greatest. Not the, oh, yes. Okay, so speaking of. Like, what is like, local vodka? Okay, so do you know. People what slam doors when they get a little tipsy, too. Okay, I did that earlier, and I was like, oh. Should, like, should be oh man, this is a crazy and then I show. Back in, like I like slowly had like slowly and closed it. But I will say say this though, um, the local which it's not from uh, Lafayette, but the vodka is uh-huh. from Sulphur, which is in the Lake Charles okay. area. Um, the vodka tasted like tequila. Wow. And I've noticed all of the local vodkas that I've tried like i've tried one made in broussard which was a long time ago which is mm-hmm. whenever i worked at uh clementine's um it was made in broussard and it was it tasted like tequila and i'm like no if i want to drink tequila i'll drink that but i want vodka yeah and to me like, vodka didn't have a, much of a taste like exactly and it's like why does the, the the local vodka taste like tequila? Mm. Is that weird? I could it be made with like a local grains or like and what could it be like and what could be done to where it tastes like tequila? Like it's got that that hmm. taste, like it just that taste. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know either and I've tried it. Maybe it's like, um it's gotta have some kind of uh <laughs> There goes Callie slamming doors again. Sorry, I didn't mean to. <laughs> I'm, I'm wait. I'm waiting for a big burp or something to come next. I've been holding them back. Oh, oh my right. God, Callie, please, Dude, this please, is, please, please, this just show burp is like. No, I'm not burping for. I will say that Callie burps like like a man, and look, I, I burp <laughs> like a cat. Like I burp <laughs> like a hamster. <laughs> I like. I love it. it like, it's man. like. And this Kelly's is like, like seriously like like this this remind, this is the podcast of podcasts. <laughs> this is the like introduction. This is only the beginning. Don't let yeah, him say this shit. Is like, yeah, it really it really is just the beginning because the three of us talking have we're a good balance. We are, and we're you fun. You keep us level too. You definitely remind us to stay grounded. Yeah, you, yeah, like you do keep us fun. And you make us comfortable, right? Right. Like, it's I feel very, very easy to like talk I feel to you as I, like well. I feel so very comfortable, like just sitting here on this couch with this big old microphone in my face and these big old like earphones. Like, I just feel so comfortable. And then I've got my good little cuddle buddy, Callie Ann. Hi, Hi Callie Ann. Hi, y'all. <laughs> and I just feel so comfortable. Like there's a few Lacroix like over there. I could just go and just grab one and treat myself if I get a little parched. There's like a guy that says that Lacroix is is is, is uh, the the definition of white white privilege. It's sacrilegious. <laughs> it's like what the hell is it? Oh, oh did you see that meme that? that. <laughs> <laughs> did you see that meme that I tagged you in? No. Shannon, on Facebook. Uh huh. It was like right after we recorded for for the first time. Uh-huh. It was about uh, Lacroix. Oh wait, I did see something. Well, you didn't like it. You didn't comment. So I was like, "Well, I didn't. I probably didn't know." I definitely. What was it? Do you remember? I don't remember. (laughs) I don't don't remember remember the meme. It was something (laughs) like, um, "Man, I can't remember." It was a lot. Like it was like, and right after, and we recorded for the first time. Like it was a good minute ago. I can't remember. It was like a box of Lacroix, and I think it was in like a black and white, and it was like, um. Ugh, I can't remember, and I'm so aggravated. You know what just popped in my head? What? Why would Anne Rice never come out with the Anne Rice cooker? With all these, like... I was cr- going to ask, but I didn't want to, because I was like, <laughs> people will be like, why don't they know who Anne Rice is? I'm so glad that you asked me, because guess what? Like, I'll agree with you, like, we don't know who the hell who is, is Anne Rice. Who is Anne Rice? 
the the woman who wrote the interview with a vampire movie the the yeah, book okay. she wrote the original now, book look, now we now so now lost. i don't feel bad I'm at so all cuz like okay <laughs> well no she could have came out with like a, a, a you know like a cauldron looking rice cooker cuz she wrote all these vampire okay. books okay. and like she could have a cauldron rice cooker and like literally Anne rice cooker in red and like it, not it's for the though. goth community's I would rice. Still buy it. I love, they would look. so eat it up with that, dude. A rice pod that looks like a cauldron? Fuck yeah, I'm buying it. Oh, yeah, that'd be I cool. I am buying it. I would definitely buy one. The definitely. Anne no, Rice I've really Cooker. Read, I've never really read a vampire book, so I yeah. never would have known. Well, you've seen the movie is. Interview with a Vampire. No. I have not. Wait, you really have Well, yeah. Yeah, I have. Okay. That actually is a really good movie. You didn't say Back in the 90s, was it? Yeah. The 90s, it came out? I've seen... Uh, and what's the little girl? Who's the little girl? She's famous now. I can't remember. I've seen uh, my mom's got a date with a not, vampire. Not, no, that, it, that was a Disney movie, Logan. And I loved it. it I, I did, too. <laughs> now, however, I've read three chapters of Twilight at Starbucks. I've never even read more up. than two pages. They were great, but guess what? I was that... Starbucks and I was like, okay, I'm reading this uh, book here, and guess what? I need some vodka. So, I left, <laughs> and I went, and I got some vodka, and guess what? I left that damn book in my car. Because guess what? I'm not a reader. I'm, not. I'm a drinker. I'm an eat- and <sighs> and an eater. You want to you, you want to hear <laughs> you want to hear a funny story? Oh God! Kristen go. Kirsten Dunst is the little girl in it. No, yes, oh! it's her. She's the little oh, girl. Wow! Oh, wait, wait, I knew. I was thinking Reese Witherspoon, but I was like, she's no. It's, I would have never. Yes, it's Hold Tom on. Cruise, Brad Pitt, and Antonio Banderas. Yep. Okay. Yep, and Kirsten Dunst is the little girl. There's yeah. a lot of like big names in this movie. I can't believe you haven't watched it. That, it's a really you know we need to go watch it it's a good movie there's a trailer should I play it right now not right now no, right we'll now. watch I'll it later and I, I am so hungry <laughs> interview with a vampire so, is is so thirsty and I'm so hungry <laughs> interview with a vampire is sponsored by photo, the new Anne no, Rice like Cooker crap. you look flawless calm down Gina mm, no. it's sponsored by the new Anne Rice Cooker get your cauldron and make that rice today I look like a model. Yeah. Okay, wait, y'all. I'm gonna take a five minute light intermission just to take a cute little picture of myself. Cause look, this is a flawless little filter. He's, he's taking a selfie. Get your selfie on. Ooh. Okay, but get both of us this on. He's but wearing, is that cute? He's Can you do that, that though? But is that cute? That is cute. Oh my god, wait, let me just send that to myself real fast. By the way, I'm waiting for the word, but um, apparently Waiter will be um, going to Nigeria next. <gasps> That's what I heard. I did hear that. And what will they be serving? I don't know, but I heard they get all, all, they're not five, serving. Re- all five restaurants will be on Waiter. <laughs> they're, they're coming. They're, they're coming guys. to Waiter. We throw so much shade, so at, much our shade at our hometown. But until they get it together. No, get it together, until, New Iberia! Until stop the killing people each other. of New Iberia get it together. Stop shooting people. Stop being ratchet. How about y'all stop shooting And stop each being other? so damn negative. Right. And we Is will it really that bad? Oh, it's more. bad. It is at its absolute worst right now. Like... It's it's apparently everywhere. <laughs> they, they brought in a new like chief of police and stuff, and they mm-hmm. think maybe he can help. And I highly doubt it. it. They're he, probably gonna kill him before anything is he, happens. Is he Bruce Wayne? <laughs> Wait, I like this one. Yes. I'm all blurry. Studio light. Is is the new chief of police Batman? Like this, huh? <laughs> is he Batman? Is he Batman? Logan is like. Wait, I'm not a photographer. caring about anything. He's only taking selfies. Let's see. I think that was cute. Oh that my god! Was. Hey, what's really so what, cute. what's so what's kind of funny to me? What's funny to me is that when people take pictures That's of so sel- like selfie pictures, it is absolutely not them. <laughs> When you see it from a distance, okay. they're like this making all us. kind of this like things. So like this is so us. That like, is us. Look at that. Like look at. Yeah, look at us. I, I, so it, us. it looks like it in the picture, but from the side, it's definitely not. 
<laughs> it's just me. So cute. And I said, so cute. So guess what? I'm going to post that one now or like in a few. Ooh, those <laughs> filters. Yes, iPhone X. I need to upgrade. Get you an iPhone. Get you an iPhone X. Mm-hmm. You won't regret it. I promise. Next is going to be the Let's iPhone see. Ooh, I love double X. I love them all. Mm-hmm. I love each and every one. It could be shit brown and I would love it. <laughs> <laughs> cute. This dude. So cute. Did we ever talk about why the hell we're here? Yeah, we, we did. Yeah, we talked okay. about it briefly. Okay, good. I'm just making sure we at least They're covered getting it. to know us. Sorry, I'm too drunk. Once, I can't remember. Uh-huh. And once we like really like settle into Lafayette, they'll just be like, oh yeah, that's just uh, them. That's just them. They're very like scatter-minded, but they love good food and they love good alcohol. Right. And that's us. That's us. And it's like, I feel like... You know, and you never know what we're going to say. Of what the hell we're doing. It don't matter what else well, no, we're talking I, about because y'all going to want to listen. To, to be honest with you, I think, it's, oh, I think this show is fun <laughs> only because of the fact that no one would ever do it. Mm-mm. No one would ever put this out. No. Because it's like, it's you never know what you're going to say. Because when you're drunk, you're, you, 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 you know, you're and being more honest. Like it's like truth say. serum Acadiana is what right. it is. Yes. And I hope y'all can appreciate this. Which and if some, not, guess what? Some people won't. But guess what? The real people I can't will say what I want to say. Well, the funny part is the people that don't, they're going to listen too. They yeah. will. They're going to listen anyway <laughs> just so they can hate. But yeah. the real people, like the, the, the real people, like the down to earth people will love us and they will love this show. I, but I guess what? Everybody will listen. And the people who don't like us, they're just going to look and they'll listen. And they're going to be like, oh my God. I, oh my God, I can't believe I can't. Did you hear? What they, did you, guess what? You're still tuning in, they though. They just said the Guess word what? You're still tuning on in, though. Radio. They just said ass on the radio. Oh my did God. you hear so what she said? What I can't say on the radio? Because, like, why? I'm being up? extremely censored for all you little bitches yeah. at home. So. <laughs> I'm so. Look, okay, there we go, Kelly. There's a little bit of the real. I'm just sitting up. back and watching and this. That is, that, is, that is from the heart. That is from Wait, the- <laughs> let's like turn it to a different kind of uh, direction. Okay. Let's talk about the fiery the- crab because I saw that you posted something. I didn't post anything about the fiery oh, crab. Yet? No. no. Like oh, okay. I don't. So I don't talk. What? What's he not yet? No, he, he laugh. I don't. I, I mean, I don't Everybody care. No, no, no. People. Every time I see somebody post about fiery crab, though, I have to wonder if it's real. <laughs> Like, okay, let me I've tell you. I've had two people tell me their seafood was superb. So. Yeah? Their yeah. seafood is very good. Their I'll seafood is excellent. What exactly is fiery crab? It's, okay, it's actually not a local business, which blew my mind. There's a location in Georgia and a mm-hmm. location in Florida. But it looks like... the first the, Louisiana... Yeah, it uh, looks like one. some... You know what it reminds me of? You remember those things that you go to the beach with your like as a kid? The bib? No, like I feel like you need a yeah. bib. No, it's yeah, like they, like, like you put the sand in it. Uh, they they got bibs? Did you not see the no. picture that I posted? Wait, go you look posted on a my like Instagram right now. They like offer you gloves oh, and wow. a bib. And the seafood was great. The service was so dry and just so ugh. Mm-hmm. And the ambiance was absolutely uncomfortable. Like, it's too bright. It needs to be a little dimmer. Wow. And it's very open. Like, I felt like I was too, like, open to where I could, like, almost, like, oh, collapse, like, out of my chair and fall on the floor because it was so, like, open and I didn't feel cozy. But, yeah, like, and the bibs cute, huh? It the says The bibs crab. are cute, just saying. The bibs are cute. And the seafood was great. It was on the, it was like on the same level almost. Like I was like, and, and, and Del T's and Broussard. Now, Alexis said her crawfish was flavorful, yes. But being that it's kind of going out of season, it was a little much. However, my shrimp were like impeccable. They were on the same level. And I was like, and Del T's and Broussard. Like they were very good. They were butterfly. They peeled like butter. They were spicy. They were awesome. Oh, and the corn, the potatoes, and the sausage comes along and with it. So what you order, like you automatically get a corn and potatoes and sausage. And most places I found don't really 
and ever do that. Like, and you have to pay for that. It's usually like a potato. And or it a really potato wa- and corn. Yeah, and it really wasn't that expensive. Like, I got two drinks, like two doubles, with a pound of uh, boiled shrimp, and my bill was like $43. Is That's not anybody bad. ready to eat it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Callie needs some grease. It's like... <laughs> oh, my God. I'm I really, and really need to eat food. some. Well, She's I, like, like, haven't eaten since, like, 2, right? two o'clock. So. I, I ate a little bit of red beans and rice earlier today, but it wasn't much. Yeah. As she slowly wakes up again. It's okay. We have wait, a wait, photo. What did we decide? Pizza? Pizza? <laughs> Is that what's going on? Listeners. Let's it's either going to be pizza decision. or wings. Oh, wait. Oh, we need a local place with alcohol, so let's throw out, throw out a few options. Well, Smitty everyone has local people working there, remember that. Lo- but not local businesses, and remember that we are working. We do want to support local Oh, and we will. Eat we local. do. We do. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, go, go local. E-A-U-S. Smitty Wings has <laughs> great Spanish dip, too. And with them pita chips. And great alcohol. She wants those pita chips. All right, and and if right. You, if you see us at eat, what is it called again? Taste of Eat Lafayette. Taste of Eat Lafayette. And he's the one not drinking. Right. Get a it together. <laughs> no, I'm just a joking. Taste of Eat Lafayette. Where you go? Catch us out there. We will be there. Will we will be. F- Photographed, recorded, video. We're actually beautiful people. I can't wait for you to see uh, no. us. Just co- <laughs> and, and, and don't be shy. Don't let Please us don't be shy. intimidate Come you. Talk to us. We're so we're we are like literal socialites. We will talk to you and we will have a blast. Now let me say this, um, Andy at Lafayette, and you can buy your tickets on Ticketmaster. Ticketmaster. Uh, twenty five dollars. But guess what? And you walk in there, all kind of freebies, and you, and and you get to taste. All kind of food from the Lafayette area, from all kind of restaurants. I mean, and walk around and taste all kinds of different great kind of food. Like, it's just, like, awesome. And you'll be so full after. There's a bar there. Um, and, again, the alcohol is not included in that $25 fee. But all the food is. So it's a great, like, it's awesome. It's I worth recommend it. it. It's so worth it. And the food is great. It's worth your pennies. Exactly. Go get it. Get it. Get it. Don't stop. Get it. Get it. Don't stop. Get it. And look for me and Logan with it, all right? What are y'all going to be wearing? Anything crazy? Are y'all going to be like fashioned up or what? Uh, Yeah. We never step out without looking extremely on point. So. I feel like, okay. Uh, maybe if we're going to the gas station, yes, we do. Oh, yeah. Well, or if we're going the... to uh, buy liquor at a convenience store, yes, we do. Yes, we do. However, or if we're going to eat at your dad's, like, we always do. Oh, yeah. And... At my dad's, like, my dad does not care. Like, we will be, like, we will look like. However, not... give us an event to attend, and we're going to show up and show out. <laughs> and Please we're going to show out, and we're going to roll out. Please believe. Lit. We roll out lit. I'm lit. I'm lit. <laughs> I'm lit. And very full, What did the too. egg say to the frying pan? Omelette. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I love that, Callie. Oh, well, that's I, a better joke than Kevin could have ever thought of. <laughs> okay, I, I, Kevin, <laughs> you and Callie need to like collaborate. Yeah, definitely. Get out, Look, get out. Kevin's all butthurt. It's okay. We no, I, I'm I, I'm not butthurt at all. I just called him Kellen. Oh, <laughs> like <laughs> Kellen, but with a K. With a K. So I'm Kellen, need to drink more. wait, wait. So Kellen, are you driving us? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll try. Like, all that you're drinking is just coffee. If you he throw up in my car, though. And, uh, We're going to have Uber rules, though. Don't be throwing up in my car. No, no, no. <laughs> it's a $200 fee. <laughs> <laughs> if you can throw up in my car, look. Look, and if you want to drive my car, you're more than going to throw up in oh, my car. Oh, no. I, yeah, yeah, you can throw up in his car. <laughs> I'm done. This is the truth. All right. So, should we See, give our goodbyes? Yes. Say right. see y'all next Tuesday. We're gonna eat something. We are going grub, and Bye, I y'all. hope y'all are all grubbed out because we're late and in the game. Out. 
and yeah. drunk Go check it out on Tuesday. Now. Get on our level. We're going to get on yours. We, we don't know what time it starts, but so we advise you to Google that and it's then go find out. Okay, 530. I know everything, Kevin. It's at oh. 530. I was going to oh, say we 8 p.m. Educated. We I'm are on educated. it. I'm on it. I'm a professional. All right, y'all. Bye. Thank y'all so Thank much. Thank y'all so much. So Tune fun. in next time. We will yes. definitely have way more to say, and uh, I think you'll like it. It's okay, coming we've soon. We've had so much to say, but we'll have way more next time. Don't you fret. Yes. Don't you fret. Don't if you, you see us, Lafayette. by the way, and you want to take a picture with Logan or Callie, that jump. Was say, oh, we want a picture. Don't you fret, Lafayette. Don't you fret, Lafayette. And don't you fret, Lafayette. That's our new hashtag. Look yes. it up. And if you copy it, and if you make a I'll website for it, I swear, I will, I will come after you so fast. So fast. Okay, Lafayette, bye. Right, Thanks. Good night. <laughs> good night. Sleep tight. Have a good night. <laughs> <laughs>